Hey guys, welcome to Etsy shop reviews episode number 93. We are closing in on 100 episodes. I am excited. We'll get there in 2024. Anyways, today we're reviewing a viewer submitted Etsy shop to see what they're doing well and what they can improve upon and we'll all get better together. So let's get to it. All right, the Etsy shop we are looking at today is Giggles to be Gorgeous with 65 sales, uh, average review or average five star review on those 65 sales. Well done. Nice use of the banner there, advertising the 25 to 40% off sale. And we can customize all items. So they're willing to go above and beyond with offering personalization, even if it's not enabled on the listing, I assume. Uh, the welcome message hello gorgeous your holiday gift ideas are here you got the emoji sprinkled in personalized gifts don't see what you're looking for just message us follow us on facebook don't miss a thing love to see that let's see if the group is uh, active here i'm not logged into facebook but boom yes and you have 98 members well done that's awesome trying to build a little community there so with 119 total products listed, you've generated 65 sales. That is well done. Uh, also just, I mean, immediately at a glance, just looking at, you know, the designs, I just want to say compliments. This to me is the Etsy vibe, right? And that's just my subjective, you know, personal opinion. Uh, but this is the Etsy vibe when it comes to design. We did a shop review last week of a brand new shop with only one sale. And one of the biggest knocks I had on that review was I felt like their designs were optimized more for Amazon than for Etsy. So I do like that, you know, hey, context matters. We're here on Etsy. I feel like your designs are optimized for this platform. Context, uh, you know, it's holiday season, winter, Christmas, etc. Your first designs that I'm seeing are pretty much optimized for, you know, winter and a lot of personalization uh, offered as well. The personalized is the first word in their title. Uh, so that's signaling, that's sending a strong signal to the Etsy algorithm that, hey, you know what I mean? This is the primary keyword associated with, with what we're offering. You know what I mean? Uh, Etsy literally tells you in the help center that you should front load your title with the most relevant uh, f keywords or phrase associated with your listing and repeat it in your tags. They say that, you guys should be familiar with that. Uh, my subscribers hopefully already were. So personalized Christmas mug, custom mug, Christmas mug, custom hot cocoa mug, monogrammed mug for kids, 12 ounce custom mug. All right. I'm assuming you did some keyword research there as well. Uh, also a great mock-up, um, definitely festive. Got the, you know, the hot chocolate in there, the peppermint, the marshmallows. So really well done. You've got a video, got some additional mock-ups here. You've got, uh, what is that? Like purchasing instructions or returns and exchanges. Got you. What's the process? Boom, boom, boom. I love that too. That, that looks really nice. Uh, however you made that. Definitely um, well done, nice little touch there. I'm gonna venture guess that you're gonna do well, uh, it, not only this holiday season, but over time, you know what I mean? With with what feels like a nice consistent, like in terms of the presentation um, to the end user, it, it just has that Etsy vibe beyond the design, you know what I mean? Just, just it looks like you're hand holding the customer from start to finish, you know, to the checkout. You know, you're clear about the returns and exchange policy. You're clear about adding personalization. Uh, that's going to yield, you know, it's going to lead to a lot of happy customers. So I think that's really well done. Um, you're also got your description written out. I love that you're using emojis, kind of making it easy to scroll and scan. Um, you've got some, you know, happy customers dropping you photo reviews. I don't know if you're doing this because I don't, the only way to know is to make a purchase. But, you know, after people purchase from you guys, you can message them, hey, you should have received your product by now. If you're happy with it, do you mind leaving us an honest review? See what I did there? If you're happy with it, leave us a review. If you're not happy, you know, then you just make it right. <laughs> Don't leave us a review though. You get what I'm saying? Um, you, you, know, you only want the positive reviews, right? Uh, and also, of course, you can, you know, automate communications using uh, Everbee email. It makes it very easy to do. So anyways, let's see what else you've got. You got some other types of mugs. You've got some sweatshirts. I think these sweatshirts look almost like too nice. They look almost like... Uh, like they were like AI generated. I'm not saying that I think they are. I'm just saying that like the smoothness of the sweatshirt. I wonder if whoever shot the photo of that mock-up like combed it or something or like or like ironed it. You know what I mean? Have you ever seen mock-ups that were like that flat? That's insane. I mean, they definitely have like a piece of cardboard in there or something, right? That's crazy. Whoever did that is like seriously driven to to get photographs of the perfect mock-up. Um, that is crazy. Again, too, nice design style, even though it's it's simplistic. You know, I, I think of myself as more of like an Amazon print on demand seller first and then trickle down to Etsy. But um, so like when like when I sit down to design, like this is not what where my brain goes, this style, you know, almost like minimalist. Um, I go pretty much the opposite, but 
uh, I definitely think that you're going to have success here with this approach. Now, I'm wondering if you forgot to set your like reset your Etsy sale because it does say up here up top that you should be running a sale like 25 to 40 percent off all season. So I would have expected to see at least like 25 percent off um, that is missing as a result of it missing. By the way, we can see like what some of your best sellers are. The thankful hoodie people are buying the uh, proud army veterans daughter people are buying. Not to put you on blast, by the way, but I mean, it is what it is. I didn't, I didn't plan on this, right? <laughs> Softball mom's doing well with the custom number on the back. Love that idea, by the way. You know what I mean? Making it like the, the matching jersey for the mom almost. Um, using like a clipping mask there on the number, making it look, you know, nice little vibe there. Uh, these designs are really nice. Like not everybody has the eye for design. It looks like um, you, I don't know if it's two people that own this shop because I did see two, you know, behind me here, two little anime characters. So either way. Um, well done though. You know what I mean? It's not just the mock-ups. Obviously it's the it's not just the research It's the design and the mock-ups, you know, it's all the above uh, It's pricing too, which is why you know when you reset that sale It'll probably notify everybody that's got something in cart and hopefully it drives some, you know immediate sales I had somebody join my private community earlier today actually of the day I'm recording this and They're absolutely killing it on Etsy almost twenty thousand dollars in profit in October and they really talked about a few things. I won't give up everything, but they really urged urged everybody to split test. You know what I mean? Even if you're listing the same product for sale to literally just tweak the SEO, tweak the title, you know, clone it and tweak the primary thumbnail, tweak all the images. You know what I mean? Like try, mess around with split testing. Also, it can help with Etsy ads if you're in really competitive niches since we don't get the, um, the auction style bids. Cause it does look like you're, you know, in a lot of these like big best selling niches. So anything like this, you know, a sweatshirt like this, be merry, you know what I mean? This would be a good example of something that you could split test, even if it's just changing it to the pink sweatshirt instead of the, um, Heather gray, you know what I mean? Or the, the sand and one, one color is going to outperform the rest. If you split test it, all of them to me, there's no harm done in doing that. And, uh, I, I would recommend if you're in these like really competitive spaces, to also go ahead and enable Etsy ads to increase your visibility. I, I mean, you've got really nicely well optimized listings. So I imagine you would convert at a pretty high clip and uh, ultimately it'd probably be, probably be profitable. You know what I mean? Uh, although I can't predict the future by the way, but I'm just saying uh, it looks like you really have done a nice job with the design. And like I said, clearly you have an eye for the aesthetic. So guys, let me know, like I just reviewed that shop, but I want to hear from you. What is, what do you, what are your thoughts on this shop? Like, what are they missing? Um, do you agree with me or, or are their designs and their thumbnails uh, needing improvement? And if so, you know, be respectful and uh, let them know what they can do better. I'd love to hear from you though. Guys, thank you for watching. Please on your way out, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already. I know a lot of you are and I'll see you tomorrow with a new top five niches of the week video.